Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. The church has started since around 10 o'clock, so please. Oh, I entered around 10. Five minutes past 10, I'm sorry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Uh, I want us to be on our feet. to open this, uh, this morning's service. If you actually paid attention to the message sent on the group, there were some guidelines given, and I'll start from the bottom, which we did first. Come on, line, uh, come on time, yeah? We're asked to come on time. Again, we're asked to come with our praise. And there's this one that, that most of us don't do, come with your heart open. Some of us lose our blessings on Sunday because we're not focused. We come with misplaced mind. We think about a lot of things that will, that will actually stop our blessing from coming sometimes. So today, this morning, I want us to be focused. Open your heart. Your miracle might come during the opening prayer. Your miracle might come during the praise and worship. Your miracle might come during the closing prayer or even the announcement. It depends on how you are focused, on how your heart is open to God this morning. For the gift of life, for the salvation of your soul, for you to be here, it's not by mistake. Today is a wonder, wonderful Sunday, or Sunday of wonders. Be expectant of anything from the beginning of the service. It is possible. It is possible. Open your mouth and begin to make demand, make declaration this morning. It is possible. Lord, we give you all the glory. Give you all the honor. Thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for giving us our miracles today. Of 
Father, we thank you for this morning service. As our hearts are open, so our miracle locate us in the name of Jesus. We begin this service in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
Lord, oh my soul.
Hallelujah. Amen. All hail the power of Jesus' name. It's our hymn this morning. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Look to your neighbor this morning. Hallelujah. I am a child of the Most High. Look to your neighbor this morning. I am a child of the Most High.
are here in my spirit. The Lord said he sent me somebody maritally in the name of Jesus. He said I'm sending me that my daughter. I'm sending that my son maritally in the name of Jesus. I don't know who, I don't know who that person is uh, but I hear in my spirit. Uh, he said I'm sending my daughter. I am sending my son uh, maritally. Ah, katelaba sendele ba shakataya. God is doing his wonders. 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 That evil arrow, that demonic arrow, I return it back to sender in the name of Jesus. That arrow that was thrown at you when you were sleeping. Uh, as you come to my present this morning, as you come to worship me, as you come in obedience, I return that arrow back to sender in the name of Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me, He said we should listen to the word that came from the Bible study, from sorry, from the Sunday school. He said, listen to me attentively. As my word comes forth today, he said, in the place of listening, you receive my miracle because I am the God of signs and wonders. He said, listen to me attentively. As my word comes forth today, in your listening, you will receive my miracle. Ah, my wonders will follow you. My signs will follow you. Alaba sendele bababa. He said, do not be distracted. He said, do not be distracted. For I am already in your misa. For I am already in your misa. For I am already in your misa. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Jesus, 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 Jesus. You have you seen nothing. You have not seen anything. You have not seen anything. You have not seen anything. What am I about to do from this altar? The prayers that have gone forth from this altar. The fasting that have gone forth from this altar. The sacrifice that have gone forth from this altar. You have not seen. You have not seen. Your ears have not heard. What am I about to do? Recordable Sayaba. I hear in my spirit. He said the stone that the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. He said the stone the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Listen to my servant. 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 Do not be too familiar with him. Do not be too familiar with him. Do not be too familiar with him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. May your neighbor may be glorified. May your name alone be exalted. In Jesus. Mighty name we worship. Psalm 136. Psalm 136 from 1 to 4. A labor singer. He said, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone does great wonders. For him alone who does great wonders. In the, in the mercy of God that you will receive the wonders of God. Hallelujah. In the mercy of God. Before the servant of God will, uh, will bat the puppet. Uh, in any area that think you have missed it. Uh, whatever you have gone wrong. Uh, we begin to plead the mercy of God in your spirit. Uh, this is what I am led to say this morning. You begin to plead the blood. Whatever that will not make you to be a partaker. For that, I will proceed out of the mouth.
servant of God's servant. God have mercy. God have mercy on me because he's the God that do great wonders. As you do that, you will see the wonders of God in Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look to your neighbor this Amen. morning and tell your neighbor good morning. Look, for, look to your neighbor. If you don't have a neighbor, look for a neighbor and tell that neighbor good morning. Tell your neighbor this is my month of uncountable wonders. Tell yourself this is my month of uncountable wonders. This morning, the choir will be going to the Caribbeans. We'll be going to the, um, shall I say, the South Americans. Um, we'll be taking a new dimension into today's service. And we'll be going somewhere different. Hallelujah. As you listen, may you be blessed. <laughs>
That is how you are clapping is wrong. Let's thank God for the gift of RRMC voices. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Why you blessed? I feel like taking you guys to O2 Arena. Kai. Kai, don't worry. Very soon we're getting there. You will host concert and people will gather. Those that are shouting amen because you are singing off key. I say you go to Wembley Arena. Amen. Amen. Okay, sit down. I, I want us to hear a testimony this morning. Clap your hands before we go into the word of God. Amen. So that it will build your faith up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. First of all, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and that of my family. And I want to thank God for adding one year to my year. And also, I want to appreciate everyone that have wished me happy birthday. May good thing never cease in your home in Jesus' name. My testimony is, uh, is um, my testimony is last week when uh, we are doing the program. So I said I'm not coming for the morning program. If I come for the morning program, I can't come for the evening program. So. And I just like, uh, my husband wasn't working that evening. I said, so I will just use the opportunity to drop off. So for a month now, I found out that I've been talking to herself. What is going on, I don't know. So every time she's talking, and I'm, sometimes 2 o'clock, I will just like, let me wake. And she's talking to herself. Sometimes I will just, it was a concern. And even my husband, it was a concern. Because my husband was like, have you noticed that I've been talking to herself? I said, yeah. Well, I don't know what is going on. Sometimes I will anoint her, give her communion, pray for it. I was just doing what I can do. So that faithful day, last week, the first prophecy that our father in the Lord just professed was, there's somebody here, you always talk to yourself, and he called him a name. Of which I don't know the name. Yeah, he just mentioned the name. I was like, God, I just took her from where she sit down. And rush out. And Reverend prayed, he prayed for her and he cast it back. So we went back home throughout that day. I thought maybe I was like, it's a dream. I was, because I've not seen that kind of test, uh, that kind of, you just professor, you say something and you just. Stop immediately. I don't see that kind of possible. So I was like, sometimes I would took my, like, because she put in her door long before you come. So I have to, then I would put in my ear, note it. And I told my husband, I said, see what happened. Since that day to day, to eternity, it's gone. And that's why I want to tell God. Is that you are clapping your hands for Jesus? You are diabetic, you are hypertension, you are uh, hypothetic B, and then you are cholesterol something. I don't know that name before. I've been in Spain, I don't take medication. I don't have it. I don't know where it comes from. Before I went for the program in a uh, glory conference. I was like, I want to go. Then on Friday of it, I was at work. Before I know, one hour before my work, before I finish, my leg started paining me. I was like, what is happening? I can't even walk. So I have to leap. I was leaping, leaping. So somebody decided to drop me off at work. And I came with that pain. See, having that pain. And Reverend declared, and they called me, they call it, and I came out. So God be the glory. I don't want to take all this is for granted. Give God all the praise. Come on. I'm not the 
Now, Amen. in the name 
name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. And to everyone here having any issue in their body, as I pray for her, you are also healed. You will testify. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap your hands and give God all the glory and all the honor. Amen. If you can hear God's voice, you can't go wrong. See, don't be pressured to prophesy if you have not heard God. I've learned to train myself. You can't pressure me. I am not the solution to your problem. Oh, Reverend, why not prophesying? When I hear, I will say it. It's as simple as that. Because if I hear, if I say I hear, and he doesn't come to my say, that Reverend, I'm not, are you sure he's hearing? Hallelujah. Stretch your hand. I hear my spirit. This is your week of good news. I thought he would shout another amen. 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 Sit down. God bless you. Please, can everybody that is not pressing computer, ushers, everybody come and come to the front. Everybody. We're going to do the practical service. Come and sit down. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I love you. If that be a neighbor, look for a neighbor. Say, neighbor, I love you. If you're not answering, say, I love you by force. And there is nothing you can do about it. Rise Where is your neighbor? I didn't say neighbors. I said neighbor. Look for a neighbor. Come and sit down Come and sit down with Brother Moses. Go and say, Brother Moses. Go and say, Brother Moses. Uh, he's, he's, my, he's my own neighbor this morning. Say, neighbor, I love you. Kai. Kai. Stretch your hands. I pray for you. You will experience God's love this season. Meditate on the word of God this week. God said, Tell them about love. See, Bible says, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard of the things that God has in stock for them that love Him. Do you understand me? So, today we'll be talking about the practicality of love. Love. You see, I was just just going through the WhatsApp group, and I say, ah, wait, oh. if we say we love each other, someone is doing birthday, you can't even say happy. Come on, some people are frowning. Like, yes, I'm talking to you. Is that true? And they are seeing it too. They don't know. I know their words. And so, now they are quiet. Yeah. If you really say you love somebody and there's celebrity and education that comes once a year. Hello? That WhatsApp group is not for only me to post. If I don't post, somebody... Hello? Your love should not just be by mouth. You must practicalize it. Are you hearing me? That is not showing love. Some of you, if you don't like the person, you will not happy birthday. Today, I'll, today I'll be open. Hello. See, we must learn to be practical with our love. See, there is no point hiding behind. I'm not going to hide behind anything this morning. Hello. Hello, church. Hi. The practical. If we must grow as a church, 
we must practice love. There's love here, don't get me wrong. There's love. But we can go deeper. What did I say? No, I said, neighbor, I love you again. Speak with your neighbor. No, not for a neighbor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. First Corinthians 1 verse 10. Means you are ready to go. Now I beseech, beseech you, brethren, by the name of the Lord Jesus, that you all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, that, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Romans 14 verse 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things where it one may what edify another. Philippians 2 verse 2. Read one to go. Fulfill ye my joy that ye be what? Come on. That ye be what? Having the same Being of one accord and of one mind. He said, fulfill ye my joy. It gives heaven joy when we show love to each other. Are you hearing me this morning? You are fulfilling heaven's joy. I don't care to know what has transpired before. But this morning, you are going to love again. Amen. I say you are going to love again. Amen. I'm also speaking to myself. Don't think I'm looking, I'm looking at your face. I'm going to look at everybody's face. If I don't say it to you, God will hold me accountable. That's why I'm saying it. Some of you, you love for the wrong reasons. You are loving her because when it's your turn, she must show the love back. Are you, are, you, are you in service this morning? Yes, sir. And you see that your friend, I think he loves you. The day you don't show that love back, ah. you will know that there's no real love there. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Oh, so I can go to a party and she will not come to you, that, that is not love. That is transaction. <laughs> eh? I invited you for my party. You came. I bought a shabby and everything your own. When my own came, Love is the absence of self. Oh, you're not here this morning. Love is what? Is the absence of self. And let me tell you, if you are loving somebody, don't expect anything in return. Hello? What did I say? And that is why they are, that's why we have issues. The way I the way I carry her is not the way she's carrying me in her mind. I will speak to your spirit this morning. Let's be coordinated. Amen. See, let me tell you what love is. You can love someone without even knowing them. Without even seeing them. And do you know that anything that loves, that love gives, it brings joy in return. I will give an example. You see, some of us here were into charities, giving to people that we don't even know, that we never even see in our life. But do you feel something that, do you know that feeling you get when you give out? I you know that people are eating and people are, yes, sir. it's priceless, it's priceless. Yes, sir. The person that is not giving cannot feel it. Are you here this morning? Feel ye my what? My joy. Fulfill ye my joy. When we are in love as a church, it gives God joy, joy, joy. Joy. 
that ye may be like-minded, having the same love. So now your friend that says, I'm no more talking to you anymore because when I do this for you, you not do for me. They never loved you. Quotes me anyway. And they stop talking to you. And they are criminalists with you. And they are spoiling your name. Love does not spoil name. Are you hearing me this morning? I'll tell you what love is this morning. I'm not going to waste your time. I don't even have time to waste your time. Acts chapter 4, verse 32. And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that out of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things in common. That is how the church can grow. When we have things in common. Women, when was the last time you all of you went out together? Hello? I'm asking for a response. It's a real question. I'm talking, I'm the only one with the microphone now. Everybody should not talk. Are you hearing me? Men, when was the last time we went out together? Where is the love? Is it when we come here and we say hello and we go home? Is that the love? When was the last time you went to visit somebody in their house? Not for gossip, oh. Good. Hello? Bible said they went from house to house breaking bread. Some of you, they will come to your house, you open your window and sit there, you don't open the door. It's wickedness. It's not love. I am telling you, even pastors do it. Pastor, I've seen a pastor. Someone come to the house and he opened the door, window. He said, in this country, you don't come to my house. Is it biblical? Some of you, you have replaced scriptures with system. Amen. Let's, let's focus. Let's not be carried away. Amen. I'm not here to make you laugh. I'm here to speak to your soul. Some of you, you've replaced scripture with what? System. You don't have you don't like fellowship. You don't like communion. I'm coming to your house. I'm not at home, but you're at home. Hello. And the rate at which they lie. And their conscience is not even pricking them. Their hearts have been sealed with the iron. Are you hearing me this morning? If we must advance beyond here, love. 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 They had all this. They said, what I have is not my own. The child I have is not my own. The car I have. Some of you just bring your car, you start complaining. But when you bought the car, you say, Pastor, come and pray for the car. Pastor said, would you give this car to God? He said, if God wants it, now we need the car. I say, ah, pastor, ah, that car is not too straight. You are giving lies. They had all things in what? In what? They are quiet now. I'm preaching to you. They had all things in what? Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 12. The Bible says, two are better than one. Because they have a good reward for the labor. For if they fall, one will lift up what is fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. For he has not another to help him. Some of you are just on your own. You don't have who talk. You just block, you just block yourself from everybody. Something is not right. There's no love there. Are you hearing me? There's no what? There's no love. From the beginning of scripture, in the book of Genesis, the Bible said, 
Abraham was going to sacrifice the son which he loved to God. So anything, anything we are preaching, we are saying here, is scriptural. There is love in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Love in the Bible, he said over 600 times. Over 600 times, love was mentioned in the Bible. Love is essential. We need love for such a time as this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ask yourself, do I love my neighbor? Are the people in church are not greeting? You see them come and you walk like this. And you go and tell another person, I'm avoiding. Where has your heart gone to? Where's your heart? Some of you prefer to show love to outsiders than those in the church. Bible say those in the house of God are my brothers and my words and my sisters. Can I ask you a question? When was the last time you showed love to somebody? I'm not saying show love to your pastor because me, I can, I'm, a, I'm an easy target to be loved. Some people don't still love their pastor. It's okay. But when was the last time you showed genuine love without string attached. Without trying to get name or find favor or find friendship. Genuine love is selfless. Is what? Selfless. Thank you, Father. Let me tell you, it is everybody's business to promote love. You must be able to love somebody beyond their language, beyond their color, beyond where they come from, beyond how people describe. Let me tell you, some of you, you hate people, not because they have offended you, but because what. You've heard about those that hated them. You, you don't know what to inherit. You inherit hatred. Are you here this morning? If you come and spoil somebody to me, I will go to that person more to know if what they are saying is true. Are you hearing me? Hello? If I say, Pastor, this one, I will say, I will call the person that has to keep gossip. Yes, Quick, let me to gossip. If they come and gossip somebody to you, call the other person. He is what Sister A says. Sister A, tell me what you said about Sister. There will be no issue in the church. But some of you, you hear from one side and you take that side. And you begin to hate that person. Hatred has possessed your heart. Are you hearing me? And they don't stop there, sir. They now make it more clear to that person that I am with this person and I will join them to hate you. Are, are you here this morning? You inherit this person never offended you, has never done any, has never done anything to you. Even this, this said person that's meant to be offended, the Bible says, forgive 70 times what? How many, how many times a day? 70 times, 70 times a day. 70 times, 7 times a day. A day! My brother, who has offended you that amount of time in a day? Who? That you, as only they carry in your heart and use them cross over. They cross, used to from year to year. I say happy new year. They carry that baggage of hatred into the new year. No wonder things are slow for you in life. Do you know why? 
if you are running a race and you're carrying loads, you can't run fast. No, because we are carrying load of bitterness, load of hatred. Are you hearing me this morning? Load of unforgiveness, bitterness. It's at the center of the church. Let me tell you how God sees you. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 3 from verse 1 to verse 5. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not love. Do you, do you have any version that says love there, media? Charity also means love. I am become a sounding brass. Thank you. If I speak with tongues of men and angels, but have not love for others growing out of God's love for me, I have become only a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Just an annoying distraction. So when you are praying, God is hearing distraction. Brother, hit that simba for me. Any of the symbols. That is how your prayer sounds before God. You are not here this morning. Hello? Is it like speaking? Halakapa is in eyes. Speak in tongues of angels, not men, no. Angels. You are like a noisy gong or a what? And a clanging, a noisy cymbal. Just annoying distraction. Tongues without love equals noise. What did I say? without love equals what? <laughs> there are many people who think that they are praying. But the only thing God is hearing is noise because of the lack of love. See, if you don't love somebody, don't even pray. Don't waste your time. Do you know why? Because God knows you. You are, you are, you are so transparent and so naked before God. God can see your heart. Your heart so if I'm you this morning, as I'm talking now, you begin to release all those people you have. You begin to release them now. Begin to let them go. I don't care to know what they've done to you. It's not worth going to hell for. Are you hearing me? One of the proof that you love God is to let go. One of the proof that you love God is to do what? Is to let go. What is it? What are we carrying on our head? What is the issue? What is your problem? If you say you love God and you don't love your neighbor, you are a liar. It's in the Bible. See, at times, we have to bring it back to basics, sir. Back to basics. Back to, we have to simplify it so everybody can understand that. Not having love can put you in a spot for a long time. Can hinder you from making progress. Are you hearing me this morning? So as I'm talking to you now, whoever you have in your heart, begin to release them now. Thank God you're in this service this morning. Now, I'm sure you know those you have in your heart because you are the jailer, you jail them there. Yes. I might want to put them in your heart for you. And it's so funny that if they ask you, this person you are angry with, what is the reason? You can't even, there is, you don't have any genuine reason to hold them in your heart. If you are not loving people and you are praying, you are a noisemaker. It's in the Bible. God 
is hearing noise because there is no love. Love is a noise killer. Oh, you're not here. Love is soundproof. <laughs> Hello? As your, as, your, as your vocal cords begin to find expression in the spirits and begin to transcend from, he- from earth to heaven and begins to come as a sweet smelling savour before God, he weighs it. Is there love in this prayer? Does this person have love? He said, if you have an issue with your brother, drop your offering. Hello? Your love in the eyes of God is worth more than your offering. Like give one million pounds. You are doing nothing in the eyes of God. How can Jesus come to a place and see a woman that gave her little and he said, this woman gave more? Why? He weighs the hearts. What is in your heart? Who has offended you? Some of you carry your mother in law in your heart and you are praying every day. The person you hate, you are sleeping with the son. Her products. Hello? Is that true? How can you hate my mother? You say you love me. Oh, my father. May the Lord give us understanding this morning. I'm making this someone so easy so that it can be more practical. Some of you that's a good idea block on your phone. You list them today. Are you hearing me? I'm not saying release them to call them. I'm saying release them to meet God's condition for your love, for his love for your life. Are you hearing me? The people that you don't talk to. Are you hearing me? That's not what? You see, some people they don't want to unlock, unlock them. Do you know why? Do you, do you know why? Do you know why? To love is not easy. When God was giving who to love, he did not give any prescription. For God so loved the world that he gave his own son. Let me tell you something. I'm not saying make contact with them. So you've blocked them in your heart. Release them this morning. What did I say? Release them this morning. You're not expecting someone this morning, Abby? No. This is the real salmon. God spoke to you, mommy. This is the real what? I will give it to you raw so you will know. In this church, we preach the truth and nothing. Become a person that always live with bitterness. There was a man that was, sir. It's not only it's not only members, even pastors. Some pastors hate each other. What are you preaching? Hello. Are you surprised? <laughs> where we, we t- where are we taking this hope? Wait, what are we fighting for? What are you fighting for? You came with nothing, you will go with nothing. The day you lose your last breath, the Gucci and the Prada and everything, it will not follow to the mortuary. The title, Bishop, is title. She be now you carry my Bible. If I'm the grave, who carry my Bible for me? Hello, now I'm a reverend. If I fall and die now, even my wife will not come close to me. She will call the ambulance. I'm gone. Is that true? Is that true? Talk to me. Is that true? So what is it? What is it that you can't let go? What is the bitterness? What are we actually fighting for? Status, name, fame, money. What is in this world? Naked we come and naked we will go. What is what missing heaven for? Let me bring, why do you want to miss heaven for somebody? Why? 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 
even my wife cannot make me miss heaven. Because heaven is a personal race. I will not go to hell for you. You will not go to hell for me. You become an unbeliever on this spot. You start using the F word. You start misbehaving. You start behaving as if you've never heard about Jesus before. Let me tell you. As long as it does not move a strand of hair from my body, I will forgive you. I will forgive you. There, and let me tell you, there must be offenses in the church. People must offend you. The church is a hospital. People are responding to treatment differently because we all have different diagnoses. Are you hearing me this morning? The fact that you can overcome easily does not mean that the other person can overcome easily. By your heads in prayer. Now begin to ask for mercy. Ask for mercy this morning. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go and let's go this morning. See, forgiveness is a mindset. You can choose to just forget it. Do you know that? So, forget it now. Scan your heart. So that you're not wasting your time here. Thinking you are praying and God is hearing your prayers. Scan your heart. You don't have to become best friends again, but you can love you can love them from afar. Release them from your hearts this morning. Love does not keep record of wrongdoing. Some of you have a list, a black list of those that are offending you. Every morning you wake up and you post on your status. so much that when you hear of their downfall, you are so happy. God! How did we get to this point that the fall of a brother or the, or the, or the pain of a sister has become a joy antidote for you? Somebody is in pain, you are happy. Somebody is crying and you are saying that is good for her, that is good for him. What would Jesus do? If I have the gift of prophecy and speak a new message from God to the people and understand all mysteries and possess all knowledge and if I have all sufficient faith that can move mountains for do not have love I am not him. I am not, you know, without love, you are not him. I don't care to know if you are an angel sitting with God every day, you are not him before him. You are not him. I love you. I need you. I need you to survive. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you to I, I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. Just excuse the hand of the person close to you. Excuse your hand, hold hands together and pray for love. Let there be love. Shared amongst us, let there be love in our life. For God also loves to arise, give us a fresh understanding of brotherly love. 
that is real. Let there be love shared amongst us. Let there be love. Now pray, pray for that person. Pray for yourself. You find it hard to love people. Put that upon your chest and say, Father, give me the grace to love people. Beyond their flaws. Beyond my pain. Oh Lord, help me, help me. I need your help as a man. I don't want my prayers to come to you. Oh, give us a fresh. Pray, pray for love, pray for love. Help me to love. Help me to love. I know it's painful. I know I'm bitter. I know I was blackmailed. I know they betrayed me. I know they disappointed me. I know they turned their back on me. But Father, help me to love beyond the pain. Help me to love beyond bitter. Help me to love. Help me. Help me. I know you are so pain, pain. I know. I know. I know. I know. Now scan your hearts quickly. Scan your hearts. Who are those you have in your mind? Release them, release them, release them now. Call their names, say I release you. Call their names, say I release you. Call their names, God can hear you. Release them this morning. Release them, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. God is circumcising hearts this morning. He's circumcising hearts this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hand upon your heart, chest. Into my heart. Into my heart. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus. Come. Come in. Call me to my heart. <sighs> Let's go this morning. I have two minutes more. Speak to him, speak to Jesus. Tell him how you feel. Tell him you feel betrayed. You feel disappointed, you feel offended, but you are taking a new a new leave this morning. Kai Odoguna One minute more, one minute more. Don't sleep. Make sure you are praying. can fight the church is to spread the spirit, the seed of hatred. Where there is no love, people will not stay. How many of us know that? Where there is no love. People want to be where there is love. We have love here. And we have to go out and tap up that love. 
When you love a man, you tell people about that man. When you love a woman, you tell people about that woman. Is that not so? Go and tell people about Jesus. This week is a week of love. Lord, we thank you. Close your eyes. If I hear this morning, I say, Father, I want to give my life to you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this morning. I ask for mercy. Have mercy upon me. Help me to love just as you love me. Let me love beyond trespasses, beyond what they've done to me. Help me, Father. Give me a new heart. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Amen. 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 Ah, it's like we're cold this morning. Amen. Were we blessed? Were we blessed? All right, let's stretch our hands towards Pastor and say a word of blessing to him that as he has blessed us, God will indeed bless him. God will indeed bless him. Just say a word of prayer. Say a word of prayer. As he has watered us, his life is going to be watered. That with the measure of wisdom that he has given to us, that God will give him in uncountable times. And so, Lord, we thank you for the word that your servant has given unto us. And we pray that multiple and multiple and multiple measures shall flow and continue to flow through him in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen so we are going into the tithes and the offering if you know that god has blessed you and you are have a tent to give to him um, in appreciation for what he has done and please come forward if you have your tithes to give or more than ten to give our tithes bless us open the window and pour out a blessing in the name of Jesus thank you Father our soul bless and worship you in Jesus name we pray Amen thank you sir Amen thank you and I want to remind us about our um, pledges that a lot of us have done if you haven't given towards it I'd like to ask us to kindly fulfill your pledge and if you've pledged and you've given and you want to give more towards the building, please do so. And God will bless you as you do in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we have time for offering um, choir. Please, can we have you for your offering? Joyfully give unto the Lord this afternoon. Amen. Thank you. 
or two minutes. More than two minutes. Yeah. 
of a psalmist at this juncture anybody can grab the microphone <laughs> but let us close before I release it <laughs> hallelujah if you're worshipping with us for the first time can we see you raise your hand if today is your first time in our RMC King's Palace eh, it's all of us are Monile <laughs> okay no problem make sure you bring people we are selling land though. We are selling land. Next Sunday, bring people. Let them come and buy. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for yourselves. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Well, very quick announcement. Uh, Bible studies and prayer meeting times remain the same. Bible studies on Tuesday, 6 p.m. on Zoom. Prayer meeting on Friday, 6 p.m. on Zoom as well. And also our morning devotion and evening prayers. 6 a.m. in the morning, 8 p.m. in the evening. Yeah, 6 a.m. in the morning, 8 p.m. in the evening. For those of us who have not been joining, just try. Eh? Even while you are preparing for work, log in. While you go into the bathroom, there is nothing like you releasing tongues in the air in the morning. While you go into the bathroom, eh? just try, just try, just join and see what God will do to your day. How many of us want to have a very pleasant week? You want to have a pleasant week this coming week? Enjoy morning prayer. Hallelujah. Even after all these prayers we've said, enjoy morning prayers. God will bless us in Jesus' name. On the 27th of April, we're going to Glasgow. It's Ebenezer. Hallelujah. 27th of April. If you have the flyers there, you can put it up. We're going to Glasgow 
for the Ebenezer concert. Um, it's taking place at our Glasgow branch, uh, number two, Castlemick, Castlemick Road. The postcode will be released and the address will come up for every one of us to see. Then on the 29th, we're having a guest minister here. That is the last Sunday in the month of April. Is it? Oh, 28. I'm sorry. 28. Do we have the flyers? Let's put it up. Put our hands together for Jesus. We're having Reverend Peter Alabi. We are having Reverend Peter Alabi. You see, when that man handled the word faith, some of you will just want to go up and slap a soldier. <laughs> <laughs> the man will give with honestly he will boost your morale you want to go out there your boss say anything like this you look at your boss and you be like oh god <laughs> if it's his home office i'm looking at you <laughs> you don't talk to a man like me like that <laughs> hallelujah i bet it's gonna be a very wonderful sunday it's gonna be a wonderful sunday you don't want to miss it invite someone bring someone down i bet you we're going to be talking about the exploits of faith we're going to search through the scriptures and i bet you god will bless you it's a sunday god has prepared for you and there is another one coming on the 19th of may 19th of may 5th of may okay let's have the 5th of may flyers we are having uh, Dr. Lawrence, the covenant on the 5th of May. You see, all these things, we are packing them up because this year, it's not going to be ordinary. As you are receiving from the right, you are receiving from the left. Hallelujah. We are having Dr. Lawrence, the covenant here. I bless, it's going to be a wonderful service. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a wonderful service. And right after this one, on the 19th of May, we're having a book of songs. <laughs> huh? I mean, if you know the song, I will pray, I will pray, I will pray. Oh, if I don't pray, Satan will make. That's the right of the song. Yeah. On the battlefield. When you call my name, I will answer a billion times. It's going to be a wonderful service. We are a new generation. People will love Jesus. Honestly, I look forward to this day. Me, personally, I don't know about you. I'm looking forward to all these programs because they have been lined up to bless our souls, to pave way, to open doors, to open doors for us. So you don't want to miss anyone. So I beg you, invite people. Don't be selfish. Don't come alone. Don't come alone. Invite people. And I tell you, even as they come, God is adding it to your records. You know, they say in my father's house there are many mansions there. Some of you don't know that it is the people you bring into the kingdom of God that represent the materials they are using to build your mansion. Are you with me? The souls you win for Christ are the materials they are using to build your mansion. None of us wants to go to heaven and have a, a boy scotter. <laughs> eh? you, want, you don't want to go to heaven and have boy scotter. You get me? So invite someone there must be somebody you can invite. There must be one person. If not two, just one person. May God bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Pastor Kinsley, is not you would like to call on Reverend? Amen. Clap your hands. Amen. I'm going to know what is happening this weekend. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Please put the flyer on the screen. This Saturday, all road. 
Where's the flyer? Okay, it's there. Put it here. Put it on the main one. You don't have it there. Can you see the flyer there? Uh -huh, you can see that. What do you want to put up with the main one? We are going on Saturday morning. Just wake up. Don't eat. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Bath. If, listen, if a chef is doing bad day, <laughs> do, do you get the rema? Do you get the rema? <laughs> do, do you get the rema? Do you catch the word? <laughs> Say, catch the word. <laughs> if a chef is doing best day, come on now. RSVP. <laughs> you will eat delicacies. Amen. Amen. Okay, I know you want to go and eat. But go with your gifts. Yes. Show love. Show what? Love. Show what? Love. Mommy, what day exactly is your birthday? 16 Tuesday. On Tuesday. I'll put that flyer on WhatsApp. I will see the love. Share it. Is this media? Are you are you with me? Listen. 50 years. Does she look 50? She looks 30. Amen. 50 years of God's grace. Hallelujah. They say it's bankies. So when you are coming, come with your bank card. And show her love. Amen. Listen, it's by what? 3 p.m. If our own is celebrating, don't come late. Be there for 1.32 o'clock. So that people are coming, we are standing by her. Hello? We have been announcing this since when? Is it January or February? February, we have been announcing this since. Since last year. So please, on Saturday, Aro Aro MC, Edinburgh, Livingston, Glasgow, we are all going to celebrate our mother by 3 p.m. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, don't go empty handed. Don't, I know some of you go with, with plates from your room, from your, both from your house. You're hearing Samson. I know Samson. <laughs> Mama, our Car bachelors here. Carry, this committee of carry your gift as well. What did I say? This committee of people. <laughs> carry your gift as well. Amen. Can we pray for her? Mama, kneel down. Where's the son? Come and stand beside by your mom. Please, can you stretch your hands towards her? 50 years of God's grace. The next 50 years shall be better than the last 50 years. Pray for her, pray for her, pray for her. Pray for her that God will provide for her divine supply. Divine supply. Are you praying? You want to see 50 on the past 50? Pray for her. Pray for her. The 50 years that she's gone through ups and downs. Let the hands of God rest upon her. Masali Afranathais. Pray for her, pray for her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for your daughter. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done in her life. Lord, we ask, as she is celebrating her 50th birthday, Lord, we ask, King of Glory, whatever that has not answered in her life, Lord, as she is marking her 50th birthday, may those things begin to answer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak into your life and I speak that lines shall fall upon you in pleasant places because you have a goodly inheritance. Father, we pray, oh God, that every obstacle that she has experienced, oh Lord, the 50th birthday marks an end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we ask that you strengthen her. Lord, strengthen her. In all the ramifications of life, oh God, strengthen her. Lord, expose her deep 
in you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' most mighty name we have prayed. The Lord bless you. He will keep you in Jesus' name. Okay, I want to see all the leaders speak after service for about five, ten minutes. Just come here to the front. God bless you. And we'll see you on Saturday. Shall we, can we close? Yeah. Um, I would like to call on Marita. You can come forward and close us for our service, man. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as she comes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's close the service. First and foremost, let's thank God for today's service. Father, we thank you for this service of today. We thank you for the name of Jesus. We thank you for the life of every member of this family. We thank you, Father, for everything you're doing in our lives, Father. We thank you for all you continue to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Shed the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and die with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, leaders, let's come forward. Have a no verse, no verse. Uh, where is sister? 